In this lesson, we'll be learning about the MBF dog header file. We're going to make sure first that we have the MBF dog header file or .h file open. So we're going to go to our file navigator and make sure we have MBF dog.h selected. To understand the header file, we first need to understand that everything declared in the .h file, all other objects that include or import this class get access to. For anyone with Java or other CS experience, this means that the .h file is public. Thus, when you are first writing your code, whenever you see the .h file, you should immediately think public. When writing code, however, we like to keep as little public as possible. We only really want to include what is absolutely necessary. This lends itself to code that is clean, modular, and easily reused. Sticking with our car example, any attributes we want to be able to change dynamically, we need to make public. But any features that are under the hood, metaphorically speaking, we would want to keep private in the implementation file. This also applies to other methods. Any actions that other classes need to be able to use must be declared in the header file. Classes can also have private methods declared in the implementation file, but we'll learn more about that later. Regardless of whether the method declaration or method name is in the .h or .m file, we always want to define their logic or simply what they do in the implementation file or .m file. For example, if a computer was represented by a .h and the .m file, the .h file would contain what is on the screen and the keyboard or what everyone has access to. However, the internals or how the computer would work would not be here but would be in the .m. In the future, you should always ask yourself, do other classes and objects need access to this? If not, put it in the implementation file. This will make more sense as we go through these our video tutorials together. Right now, you should see the hashtag import statement, which tells our class what other code it can see. This is a more efficient version of include. In this case, we're telling MBF dog class to get access to the foundation library. The foundation library defines the base layer of the Objective-C class. It provides utility classes, helps create consistent conventions, and supports object persistence and distribution, as well as OS independence for portability. In short, by adding the foundation library that is created by Apple, we're going to be able to properly use Objective-C which is the language necessary to program iPhone applications inside of our project. On the next line, we see this at interface, MBF dog, NS object, and at end. Between the at interface and at end, we're able to declare what is our public API or what my class should include as available to other classes. And we can define properties and headers in between the at interface and at end space. We also see MBF dog, which is our class name. And this connects directly with the name of our header file over here, mbfdog.h. So our class name is mbfdog. And by adding this colon ns object, we see that we directly inherit from or a subclass of ns object. We'll talk more about inheritance later, but for now it means that we get access to all of the functionality described inside the ns object class, and we can add on to that in our own public interface file.